I want to give you another live look from our Campo Viero Wireless Neighborhood Weather Network camera, and it is showing the very heavy rain that is associated with the severe storm moving through. And then you can also see some blue sky off in the distance. So we have a little bit of everything, but as this storm moves overhead, it is going to bring some very heavy rain and the potential for quite a bit of hail as well. One inch in diameter hail is expected as this storm travels off toward the south and east. It's moving at about 20 miles per hour, so not overly quickly. That warning stays in effect until 515. This storm right now, the core of it, situated just off toward the north and east of Campo. This is north of County Road J. And just off to the west of County Road 35, we will continue to track this cell very, very closely. Again, a severe thunderstorm warning in effect until 515. Right now, the other strong storms that we are keeping have keeping an eye on have moved south into northern New Mexico. We're getting a bit of rain around Walsenburg and in southern portions of El Paso County. We have a cell that has just popped up near Widefield that is moving off toward the southeast as well. No warnings associated with it as it is still pretty weak, but we'll have to keep an eye on it. Basically, any storm that develops here in southern Colorado is going to be capable of becoming strong to severe with the biggest threat for severe weather looking to remain out across the plains. Heavy rain could cause flooding concerns, gusty winds, and also large hail will be threats. Can't rule out an isolated tornado as we head through the remainder of your Thursday. Take a look at SkyCast. Storms are expected to move off toward the south and east with another round developing during the late evening. Here's a look at 8 o'clock. These storms are going to stick with us for quite some time. Heading into midnight, still looking for quite a bit in the way of rain to track, especially out across the far eastern plains near the Colorado Kansas state line. May get a cluster of storms to also develop along the Palmer Divide that will impact the Pikes Peak region. These storms will get out of here, though, by early tomorrow morning. What we'll be left with is some patchy fog, which could slow you down for your morning drive, so stick with us. We'll continue tracking that threat closely. Taking you through the first half of tomorrow, plenty of sunshine, enough sun to help warm up the temperatures and bubble up a few more storms by 2 o'clock. By 2 o'clock, clouds will thicken up. We'll start to see a few cells along the front range, and then as we head into about 5 o'clock, storms will be a bit more scattered along the I-25 corridor, as eventually spreading out to the plains. By 7 o'clock, could have some heavy rain along the Palmer Divide and also around Los Animas County, and tomorrow night will be a Another night where we may end up with several storms that last well into your early Saturday morning. So, breaking it down for you, severe storms are possible here as we head through the night tonight. Isolated storms may last into early tomorrow morning before everything comes to an end. And then, of course, more storms are anticipated as we head into tomorrow afternoon and evening. Temperatures tonight will be dropping into the 50s and 60s. High temperatures tomorrow, noticeably cooler than they were out there today, thanks to a cold front that has moved through. 81 degrees in Colorado Springs will stay below the 90s for most across the plains as well. 86 will be your high temperature in Pueblo tomorrow, one of those crazy days where Pueblo Gunnison have the same forecast high. Temperatures in Colorado Springs are going to heat up as we head into the second half of the weekend. Notice we'll keep a daily chance for storms in the forecast through next week. We'll kick it up, though, to a 30 to 40 percent chance Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, as we start to see more of that monsoonal moisture moving back into the state to start off the work week next week. In Pueblo, 86 degrees tomorrow. We'll dry it out on Saturday. Storms are back in the forecast Sunday, and we'll keep a daily chance for storms going all the way through Thursday of next week with temperatures in the 80s and 90s. Canyon City, 85 degrees tomorrow, 95 on Saturday. We'll keep 90s in place through Sunday and into your Monday, Tuesday. A 10% chance for storms through Sunday. We kick it up to a 20 to 30% chance for storms through the first half of the work week next week. And around Teller County tomorrow, 73 will be your high temperature. We'll hit 80s this weekend. A 20% chance for storms primarily during the afternoon. So if you want to squeeze in a hike this weekend, just do it in the morning. A 40% chance for storms expected Monday into Tuesday. And of course, each and every day that we have that chance for storms, there is the potential for heavy rain, which means we'll be watching the Burns cars very closely, and you can always track those storms with us over on KRDO.com. We'll have another update on that severe storm in Baca County coming up in just a little bit. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks so much. Well, it's the movie franchise that turned her secret crush, Matt Damon, into an international action star. Uh, the cat's out of the bag. Yeah, Damon is back as Jason Bourne.